Okay, guys, so we're going to look at my plugins that I use to process my acoustic guitar sound. I've got, I recorded Canary, I remember, uh, I think the guitar was mic'd, but I, this is what I, no I normally use. I have the first thing that I have on my inserts, which is my track, is this thing called the NLS bus. It's a channel and a bus as well. This is on the channel setting, NLS channel, and I'm using the Neve setting, Nevo, right? There's no drive on it. Next thing is this thing called a VCOM. This is a vintage compressor. It's based on the Neve 2254 master bus compressor, but I'm kind of using it here on uh, my acoustic guitar, and it's great. I've just picked the classical guitar setting. This thing shows a lot of gain reduction, but it really is a very slow compressor. So its quickest release time is 400, which is very slow. And if you want to go faster, actually, I would suggest you put it to auto. Auto is a good setting, and also ratio, you might want to drop it, depending on how much you're cutting. If you're going above 6, I would say knock back the ratio. Take it to 1.5 to 1, because this thing will thicken up and add girth and warmth to your sound like you wouldn't believe. Also, keep the de setting off. Keep the limiter off as well. you get the best and most natural sound. So yeah, so this is the preset that I use. And the next thing is, again, from Waves, this is the same series, VEQ series. This VEQ is based off the Neve 1073 channel strip. It's that EQ. And I'm, again, using the classic guitar, guitar setting. So, you know, it's just stock EQ. Like, all I've done is his high pass at 80 hertz so that it filters out all the low information because that's pretty useless. It's just going to add thumps and booms to your sound. So taking that out, we dip out a little bit at 110 hertz, about 2 decibels. This is a very powerful EQ, by the way, guys. So a little move on it actually really affects it. And then to get rid of, like, twanginess, or actually to add uh, presence in this case, there's a slight boost of 1.5 dB at 1.6 kilohertz. You can also try and make this. If you want it brighter and more attack, put it to 2.4 or 3.2, because those will be brighter. This is more upper mid. And then a slight boost of 3 decibels, shelving type EQ at 10 kilohertz. That's it. It's like simple. That's it. Those are the only three things I use. And for the reverb, if you love the reverb I'm using right now, it is, I'm sending to, I'm sending to this reverb, which is on my auxiliary, auxiliary one. This is the Valhalla vintage reverb, and I've got it in the stock concert hall mode. Uh, that's it. Those are my settings and you know try these out for yourself and see how they sound.